And as the bitter succession battle at Lotte Group draws backlash from the public against conglomerates, the rival parties are moving to reform them. Our Chi Myung Gil has more. The ruling Sanuri party showed its determination to prod private business groups, or chaebols in Korean, to reduce the amount of cross-shareholding among their affiliates and improve their governance structures. It doesn't make sense that business owners are able to exercise unbridled power through the current shareholding structure with only a handful of shares. We must prevent them from controlling their companies like an empire. Korea's fair trade law revised in 2013 bans new circular shareholding investments, but not existing ones like those in place at Lotte Group. The ruling party's chief policymaker said Thursday at a meeting with government officials that the party would seek to undo existing cross-shareholding investments at the country's conglomerates if necessary. He also said he has asked Lotte to submit details on its complex ownership structure by the end of the month. Those present at the meeting also discussed making conglomerates disclose their overseas stock holdings as well as their affiliated companies offshore. The main opposition New Politics Alliance for Democracy is urging the government to pursue economic democratization, promote fair competition and rein in the Tebo's cross-shareholding practices. The conglomerate-based economy is now seen as undermining the Korean economy, which has prompted calls to reform the anachronistic system. The government must get rid of its pro tebo stance and strive to foster a fair market economy. The MPAD also said conglomerates are becoming a risk factor for the economy rather than serving as a growth engine. The Chaebol have been crucial to Korea's economic growth over the years, but they have amassed a remarkable record of embezzlement, bribery and financial crimes that have enriched and empowered the families that run the businesses at the expense of employees and shareholders. Jim Young-gil, Arirang News.